what's up care right here and welcome back to my channel so first I want to say a big thank you for those of you that have stuck around my subscribers that are still with me that are still viewing my videos um, this video is for you <laughs> I have been getting questions about where have I been and that's what prompted me to sit down and film this video um, I'll be honest I've never done a video like this this is different for me I think that I've never done one of these because I just felt like people don't really care to see I'm gonna be addressing all of the life updates that I have for you guys here in this video so if you're interested to see where I've been and my plans moving forward then keep on watching So I honestly don't even know where to start with a video like this but I guess I'm going to start with the fact that it's probably been a couple of years since I've been consistent with filming and uploading videos and a lot of that has to do with the equipment just a little backstory so I started this channel in 2015 and I started it with my iPhone once my videos started to like gain viewers and kind of build like a following that's when I decided to invest in my camera that I'm using my lighting that I'm using and my mic that I'm using um, but I was using my boyfriend's computer to edit and upload my videos. So the hardware did crash on his MacBook. Second time it crashed, it was a little bit more extensive, um, a little bit more money, and yeah. It was probably around the first time it crashed that I thought to myself, like, I probably need to start saving for my own MacBook. But of course, like, you say that in your mind, but you want other things, you want to save for other things, and that was my issue. It wasn't until 2019 that I actually started being serious about saving for my um, my own MacBook. I saved for my MacBook, and I got a MacBook Air. I got this back in November, the end of November, early December of 2019, so it's been a few months. So you got your computer, why has it taken you so long to start filming? I have been, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys and I'm going to just say that I have been in a creative rut. Um, I feel like, sometimes I feel like the things that I am the most interested in and the things that I love to talk about, things that I love to film, things that I'm passionate about, it just doesn't translate into views. I'm really passionate about skincare, I'm really passionate about taking care of like my natural hair. And whenever I film and post videos about either of those things, sometimes they do get a good response. Other times I feel like people don't view them. I post a wig video and everybody comments and everybody has questions and wants to see this, that, and the other. And I post um, a makeup video or a skincare video or a natural hair video and it's crickets. <laughs> That is kind of that kind of wears on you when you really love something and you are passionate about it and it's not translating um, with your viewers. It just kind of it kind of it hurts. It really hurts. And this is just me being completely honest and just sharing how I feel. It really tugs on my heart because it's like I want you guys to love what I love and, and you not paying attention. Um, so I kind of didn't know what to do. So now that I've kind of addressed the two main reasons why I stopped filming or I haven't been as consistent with filming I wanted to address some life updates that have happened to me along the way there are probably things that factor into why I haven't been as consistent with YouTube the last year I did get a job promotion so I've been focused on my career I started at this company two years ago and I've kind of gone through two different promotions so I've been really focused on my career and leveling up and just trying to like secure the bag if you will i do work another job part-time so i've just been really 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 busy as far as my free time goes i'm usually literally always working so over the past year i've also traveled i went to la um this time last year and then in october i did go to arizona with a girlfriend if you follow me on instagram you might see on my story from time to time that i post and mainly just to reiterate my creative ruts to the point where I'll think of ideas in my head but I'll be like no people won't care to see that and then I'll just kind of psych myself out of filming and editing the video and posting it which is doing myself a disservice because it doesn't matter I guess if you guys are viewing or not if that's what I love to do then I should just go for it and do it 
um so that's my that's my thought process going into 2020 i'm gonna just do i'm gonna do whatever that my little heart desires whatever makes me happy i'm just going to do that and what's crazy is this this time that we're in right now everything going on with the coronavirus and social distancing I think it's kind of making people slow down and just kind of realizing where they're at in this moment and maybe even bringing things out of them that they didn't realize were bottled up inside and I feel like since I've been kind of not leaving the house <laughs> I am kind of forcing myself to think of new things to keep my mind busy it's like what what do I do with all this time on my hands and I'm just kind of in my in my apartment so creativity it's brewing it's working it's I think this is gonna be like there's different ways to cope with this social distancing and I think finding a hobby um, is the best way to kind of cope with this sort of thing and YouTube has always been a hobby I kind of considered YouTube a job at one point and I just really love it. I love filming. I love editing. I love, I love it. So I don't know what I've been doing with myself for the past two years. I'm kind of really upset with myself, but this is a, this is a new, this is the beginning to something great. The beginning of me being more consistent again. The beginning of me finding myself with my videos and my content again. And yeah. Sorry if this video is a little long-winded. Sorry if you don't care um, about what I have to say in this video. If you stuck around to the end, I really appreciate you for listening and hearing me out. Um, please continue to support my channel. Um, if you're already subscribed, please don't go anywhere. If you're new to this channel and you stumbled across this video by chance, please stick around to click that subscribe button and click that post notification bell so you will be updated when I upload my next video. If you appreciate my honesty, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know what you want to see from me going forward. And until my next video, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you later. Bye.